Hi YouTubers, welcome to part two of the Bush Valve Radio Fix. And um, the grommets came, and these are used in here. They're like a, fitted in these holes with brass inserts, and it's to stop the vibration of the speaker rattling the valves when it's working. So I've got to fit the grommets in there and I've got the pilot lamp for the front dial so I'm going to fit these, I'm not going to show you fit them, you just basically squeeze them into the hole you know, I can't do it single handed and uh, I shall get those fitted with the brass inserts, clean it up a bit more and then hopefully it'll be testing time okay this is the final part of the Bush radio and um, it's all assembled it's not very good light in this room but uh, it's got a nice shine on the case and we'll switch it on it's a valve one so it takes a while to warm up lovely dial on it I love, and weirdly, I don't know, the, the gherkins that you get here, they're not quite the same as the ones you get in America, I think. So I do like to make my recipe. Um, it's a lot. I don't know what station that is. And with a lot of dill, a lot of fresh dill, uh, about half a whole bulb of garlic, just crushed. Um, I, I like a really garlicky that's pickle. That's a long way. Other aromatic seasonings. There's coriander seed. Medium way. Basically, my godmother came to stay. The box of the case with the glass front. There was. Well that's it, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this video on the Bush radio and uh, I've got the back off still <clears throat> and it's a DAC70 and it's 1957 I believe, just got to clean this up with some polish and then put this on but I kept it off while I'm doing some more tests and I've got to clean the knobs up a little bit more but that's it finished so thanks for watching please subscribe and like